Okay, uh, today we are going to learn uh, essentially two um, tools, uh, one right after the other. The first tool is the brush tool. Um, yes, so what we're going to do is it's very basically, you can see it looks like a brush. Um, you can use your mouse to do uh, something free form. Okay, once you create that um, swash or your your design, you will notice that it has bezier um, handles, so you can uh, adjust them the the paintbrush swash uh, accordingly. So you can go back in and you can adjust it um, to your liking. Okay, so uh, another thing when you use the brush tool. Um, let me go ahead and just create another swash. Once you uh, create that that uh, swash or that uh, configuration, you can now go ahead and uh, uh, manipulate the thickness of the uh, swash um, through the stroke um, palette. And you'll find the stroke palette up in the window um, pull down menu. Here is the stroke and this is what it looks like. So very basically you can change the uh, thickness of it by selecting the stroke and as you can see now it is much thicker. Um, you can also uh, make it much thicker. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to back to one point. This thickness Another uh, tool or um, filter that really is excellent when you work with the um, brush tool are the, um, the styles of brushes. So we're going to go back to the windows and we're going to go all the way down to brush libraries. And you can see a number of different types of uh, brushes. I'm going to go ahead and use the artistic brushes. Um, it's, it's endless what you can do with these filters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the artistic charcoal, uh, chalk charcoal pencil. And what you'll receive are a number of different, uh, types of charcoal looks. So once you have your brush selected, uh, you can, uh, click on any one of these um, configurations and you'll see that it formulates to that look. Okay, so you it's basically it's endless. Okay, so you can really have a lot of fun and, and create some very very interesting uh, images utilizing the um, the brush tool as well as these um, uh, brush swashes I call them. Okay, there are a number of them. I'm going to go back to Window, go back to the Brush Libraries, go back to Artistic, and I'll bring out the paintbrushes. And there's the paintbrushes. Now I've got, not only do I have my Artistic, but I also have my paintbrushes as well. So I can select this um, line that I've created, and you can see what it will do with the paintbrush. Very similar to the, to the charcoal uh, chalk. Um, attributes. So uh, you can really have a lot of fun with this. Okay, now we're going to um, move these over to the side. Now we are going to use the pencil tool. And the pencil tool is very similar to the brush except it's a very fine line. A lot of people like working with this um, pencil tool um, rather than using the pen tool Actually, I like working with the pen tool instead of the pencil tool. You can also create complete paths by, for instance, creating a, a closed path. As you can see, it, it came all together. So therefore, you can go ahead with the swash tool on the toolbox. You can fill it with a color. Okay. And you can also use these uh, attributes, these uh, 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 charcoal, chalk, and uh, brush patterns as well. And I'll go over to the uh, to the artistic paintbrush and you can very basically do the same thing. Okay, as well as you can change the thickness 
on the um, on the pencil tool using your stroke palette as you can see. Okay, well uh, this was a very quick and simple tutorial. Thank you for watching.